Hey everyone, it's Catherine from WDW Happy Hour, and it is day two of the D23 Expo. So last night after we got back from the Expo, the five of us gathered in our hotel room and we recorded an episode to talk about what we saw yesterday, what our first impressions were of this year's Expo. And um, what we also did was promise you YouTube content. So um, what I wanted to share with you was um, the two acceptance speeches from the Legends Award. Um, we picked two of our favorites, which was Oprah's speech and Mark Hamill's speech. They were great um, Disney-centric speeches, and the crowd seemed to really love them. So here you go. Enjoy Oprah's Legends acceptance speech and Mark Hamill's Legends acceptance speech. Cheers. Like all legends, Oprah stands apart even from other greats in the field. She embodies the very spirit of creativity. But more than that, she is authentic, generous, just extraordinary. And having worked with her for almost 30 years, I know her very well. And I can tell you that she is everything that you would expect and more. And above all else, she's a true friend. Every part of her is authentic, sincere, and kind, and just so real. She's truly a force of nature who has touched the lives of people all over the world. And I've always been a great admirer and count myself so fortunate so fortunate that I could consider her a great friend, something that I value beyond words. So today we're proud to honor her, and I am proud to present this award to her. So please welcome Disney legend, Oprah Winfrey. First of all, thank you, Bob Iger, uh, President Iger. Uh, of all the people I've known, read about, met, heard of in the world, this man I hold in the highest regard. Just the highest regard. So, to receive an honor that I know that you had to okay means... <laughs> Couldn't happen if he didn't say so. Means the world to me. I will tell you, I arrived early yesterday because I didn't want to have to fight the evening traffic, I didn't want to have to fight the morning traffic. And so I had time to go to a restaurant last night, so I had a choice between Goofy's Kitchen and um, the Steakhouse 55. So I chose Steakhouse 55. And as I was there, sitting, sitting alone, ordering, I had time to talk to my waiter whose name was Steve. So I was getting Steve's story and I was saying, tell me, how long have you worked here? And Steve said, 42 years. Wow. And I said, Steve, 42 years. You've come in and out of that door for 42 years. He said, not exactly that door, but <laughs> there have been several doors. I said, how did you stay at this company for 42 years? He said, I thought and found it to be the best place to let me be me. And I said, Steve, I felt the same way. I feel the same way about my work with Disney since 1984, launching the Oprah Winfrey Show. Every day, Disney, ABC7, let me be me. It was an honor, and I feel that uh, more than anything, being a legend, more than being a celebrity or being uh, awarded for notoriety, that really a legend is about the common experience that we all hold and share. And every day on that show, I was able to tell our common story. So I thank you for honoring what I consider to be sacred work and I treasure it, especially coming from you and Disney. Thank you so much.
Mark Hamill since the first time I saw him swing a lightsaber a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. But I just realized watching that that we both got our start at ABC in the 70s. Mark worked for General Hospital. I worked for all my children and one life to live. So, you know, I, I think neither of us imagined that we'd wind up where we are today, but Mark, I think we did okay. Throughout his career, Mark's performances have captivated audiences around the world. But for the diehard Star Wars, Star Wars fans, he certainly is revered as Luke Skywalker. The world has held its breath for his return to that iconic role since that last scene in The Force Awakens, <laughs> the last few moments. And having seen his performance, his entire performance in The Last Jedi, I can tell you, it's worth the wait. We're thrilled to have that incredible franchise at Disney and very proud that Mark is part of the Disney family. So please welcome Disney legend, Luke Skywalker, Mark Hamill. Well, as an avid collector of rare Disney memorabilia, it'll be hard to top this one. <laughs> uh, honestly, I, I tried to think of what I could say to express my gratitude, and it's, it's impossible. I, I thought of uh, that quote by baseball great Lou Gehrig. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. Um, it's true. Now, of course, I have to thank George Lucas, or I wouldn't be standing here. And beyond George, the thousands of people that worked on those films, be behind the camera, in front of the camera, would the movies be as impactful without the brilliance of John Williams' music? I don't think so. So, I was taught that uh, in theater school that, that theater is a composite art and I've certainly learned over the years how lucky I have been to work with some of the best there are. Um, I, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank the fans who, who support and affection over the years. Uh, it's just astonishing to me. They make you feel like you're part of their family. And so many stories uh, uh, from kids that saw the original films grown up now, sharing it with their young children, very much in the style of the Disney animated classics. So it was a particular thrill. Hey, I was thrilled when Star Tours opened. I thought <laughs> anything that I was even remotely connected to is now an attraction at the greatest theme park on the planet, I mean. So, I, and, and to, you know, to give the company its due, I have been a Disney fan as long as I can remember. Those comic strips were delivered to my front door on a daily basis. Sundays were extra special with the multi-tiered big cartoons all in full color. Uh, Disney provided me a tutorial of how I could make my dreams come true by lifting the curtain. I mean, I, I, I hadn't even started grade school when I saw uh, Clarence Nash recording a, a Donald Duck cartoon and a light bulb went off in my head. This man gets up every morning, kisses his wife goodbye, drives to the studio, and makes Donald Duck cartoons. I want that job. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do a horrible Donald Duck. But like I say, the, the making of aspect of the Disney programs, the making of Toby Tyler, of Babes in Toyland, of Darby O'Gill and the Little People, he lifted the curtain. No other studio did that. And in my young brain, I thought, there's a path 
to achieve what I want, which is a career in the entertainment industry. Uh, so I am forever grateful for that uh, learning process that was provided by Walt Disney. I'm so proud to be able to be here with my family, my wife Mary Lou, my daughter Chelsea, my son Nathan. Griffin is a, a martial arts instructor. He teaches children martial arts and uh, I'm proud of him for uh, uh, putting his students first. He, he couldn't be here today. But to establish my Disney uh, credentials uh, as a fan, Nathan's middle name is Elias, and that's no accident. Uh, so thank you, Walt Disney, for telling me that if I wished upon a star, my dreams really could come true. And finally, I would love to give my deepest respects for the super cool spaces I have in Carrie Frances Fisher. I loved her. And we were like siblings, the good and the bad. We'd have huge fights and not speak to her. You're such a phony. But we loved each other, and what a great thrill it was to come back in The Force Awakens at, at that time in our lives. Uh, there was a comfort level with each other. We could rely on each other, and there was a deep respect. I know if she were here this morning, she would have flipped me the bird at least twice already. <laughs> so thank you all so much. I, 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 I'm, I'm so humbled and so grateful, and I... I I love you all. Thank you. We are both, we are, we are both uh, sworn an oath to not give away any secrets about the next film, but I'm going to give one away. This is Mark's best performance as Luke Skywalker to date, and you will see that I am right. Thank you, Mark. Congratulations.